All right, folks. So I'm going to be doing part two of my video on patching some sheetrock in the wall, and I um, I don't like to sand this stuff by hand, so I've broken out one of my favorite tools that cost about $120 on Amazon, and it is a drywall sander. So the way this thing works is it has an orbital sander head down here, and it has a piece of sandpaper on it, and it has a hose that hooks up to a shop vac, and it gets probably 90% of the dust. Okay, this is not dust free, but it beats the heck out of doing it by hand. So, sit back and enjoy the show. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this wall. And then when I'm done sanding that, I'm gonna mix up uh, a little bit of mud and I'm gonna touch up um, the wall and put the second coat on. So it typically takes about three coats to get this right. So that part's done, and um, the objective of sanding this is not to make it completely flat. The objective is actually to knock the high spots and the ridges off of the mud um, so that I can come back with a second coat of mud and fill in any holes or divots that are there. Um, typically, the second coat will still need to be sanded, and then I'll come back with the third coat touched up. At that point, it'll be ready for texture. So uh, let me go mix up some mud. And I'll be back in a minute to put the uh, second coat of mud up. Okay, so I've mixed up my uh, mud. It's a little bit thicker than I like, but you know what? It'll work just fine. So what I'm going to do now is just spread this on here and fill in the little bit of irregularities that are on here. So that's basically done. Got a couple more spots over here. I'll let this dry uh, overnight. This actually will cure in about 20 minutes, but I just only want to do so much tonight. It's a Monday. So um, I'm going to put a little bit more mud on the patch that's off camera. Got a couple other spots I'm, I'm touching up, and uh, then I'll wash this out, call it a night. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next installment. There'll be a part three where I touch this up and probably a part four where I texture it and prime it and paint it. Get to see the finished result. Appreciate you watching my videos.